Tonight, a man is behind bars after police say he struck and killed a tow truck operator who was helping a stranded motorist at the time. ABC6 reporter Luann Stoya joining us now, live from the east side, where friends are remembering their colleague. Luann? Killed while driving a tow truck like this one, we have learned that Jack Carpenter is the third tow truck-related death in two years here in Columbus. And now the folks here at A&A &A Towing, well, they tell us helping people was Carpenter's life, and now they have a message in his death. Mark Jones is working on fixing an A&A &A tow truck instead of taking road calls. What Jones can't fix is heartache. After his good friend and co-worker, 59-year-old Jack Carpenter was fatally struck as he responded to a stranded motorist call on Route 104 near Lockbourne Road. Very dangerous, and I say, you know, some, some people don't respect that. They think we're, like I said, we're a bunch of dirty tow truck drivers, but honestly, we're out here saving people's lives. a, &A towing. The dispatcher for a, a says people should learn from what happened to Carpenter, a 40-year veteran tow truck operator who lost his life doing what he loved. The law is to move over and slow down and no one pays attention. Police are waiting on toxicology reports to see if 31-year-old Brian Spencer may have been impaired when he hit Carpenter. Investigators say the wrecker had its flashing lights on when Spencer failed to control his car and hit all four vehicles at the side of the road and Carpenter. In this case, uh, he was also found to be in uh, possession of a considerable amount of narcotics. Drugs are an, an epidemic. I mean, it's it. too many impaired drivers. How do we stop it? Carpenter was not married, but at the towing company, people considered him family. They're hoping Spencer will be held accountable if he is responsible for their friend's death. And coming up at 6 tonight, why police say tow truck operators can be targets of impaired drivers. For now, we're live on the east side. Luann Stoya, ABC 6 News.